Happy Tuesday, guys. I'm about to say Monday. Happy Tuesday, guys. So, <clears throat> if you haven't been reading the, the newspaper, if you haven't been listening to the news, Sears is done. It's a sad thing, you know. It's very sad. <clears throat> Sears is done. What thing? Been around forever. You know, I think it's over like 13 or 20,000 employees. They're done. No jobs. <clears throat> and guess what? <clears throat> a lot of them were over 55. Worked their whole life for Sears and the company told some of them that they didn't even have money to give them for retirement. Remember I talk about these scams, right? Your job tells you they're going to you know, take care of you <clears throat> after you work for them for 40 years and then after you work for them, now they tell you they don't got no money for you. What do you do then? What do you do then? can't stress it enough guys and and, and 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 hopefully I wake my goal is to wake at least a hundred people up you know just this year hey wake a hundred people up start a business of your own while you have your job so that when your job lets you go it's not it's not if they're gonna let you go when they let you go when they fire you, when they downsize, now you can put more energy, time, effort into building something of your own. Out of those 20,000 employees that Sears had to let go, how many of them were building something for their last name? Probably a handful. How many of them had extra income coming in from other places? Probably a handful. See, I don't just talk out of thin air. I don't just make up shit. Okay? I go with facts. The fact is, Sears is closed for good. 20,000 people were out of a job. Most of them were baby boomers. And now they got to downsize, go live with their kids, go get on uh, a food line so they can make ends meet. Do you want to live like that? After working your whole life just to realize you did nothing? That's why people commit suicide. Baby boomers commit suicide. <laughs> it's crazy. Because they realize they ain't did nothing. But you have to do something while you're able to. See, the problem is people think the shit can't happen to them. People think, oh, no, my job ain't going nowhere. Oh, no, Sears ain't going nowhere. Sears, please, Sears ain't going nowhere. That's a big company. Oh, Walmart ain't going nowhere. Oh, that's a big company. They ain't going nowhere. Now Sears is done for good. What do you think is going to happen to the other retailers, guys? They're just going to follow suit. Maybe not immediately, but I know Wet Seal, they're closing all their stores. Walmart's closing. <laughs> Sears done. Target. Toys R Us done. See, we got to keep abreast of technology, guys. <clears throat> and this is just the beginning. Right? This is just the beginning of what technology is doing. The reason Sears is closing is because they can't keep up with the online sales of Amazon. And then Donald Trump mad at Amazon because Amazon doesn't charge tax. So now Amazon is going to now be charging either the consumer or the seller, either the buyer or the seller, either one, they're going to be charging us the tax now. Right? Because that's how Jeff Bezos, the, the richest man, he don't pay no taxes. So Donald Trump said, motherfucking Amazon need to pay taxes because they're crushing, literally crushing the competition. Right? Donald Trump told Amazon Jeff Bezos that he needs to pay taxes. 
UPS caters damn near over like 70% from Amazon sales. And they get a discount for using UPS and FedEx and all that stuff because they get so many sales. So you can do that, right? You can lower the costs and, and they get a lot of sales. You still make it up. But start a business, guys. Your job don't give a fuck about you, guys. You got to give a fuck. That's why when I got fired from my job, I said, fuck this job shit. They don't give a fuck about me. They don't give a fuck about my kids. They don't give a fuck about my bills. They don't give a fuck about my family. I had to give a fuck. So now I'm in the position to not ever get fired. Unless I fire myself. Unless a company closes. But there's so many companies. There's so many opportunities to make money. Once you learn the skill of owning your own. Once you learn the skill of working for yourself. You will always do it. You will always find a vehicle to help you get to where you want to be. But if you never start. You're going to be 75 years old. 55 years old. Your job lay you off. And now you're trying to make ends meet. Now you're hoping and praying and wishing that an opportunity come. But when you are working, instead of, oh, let me travel here. Let me go get my nails done. Let me go get my hair done. Start a fucking business. It's nothing like having your own business. It's nothing like controlling your own hours. It's nothing like fucking controlling brain. your own. It's nothing like controlling your own fucking money. We don't control your brain, you depressed. We don't control your money, you depressed. When you don't control the hours in your life, you depressed. And now you call me asking me for a discount. I don't give a fuck about your situation. If you don't give a fuck about your situation, baby, you cannot depend on Tanisha Marie to give a fuck about your situation either. Okay? Like I said, I like to work with people who are serious who's willing to pay the price, who's willing to work, who's willing to pay the price, but also willing to work and build. Not someone saying, oh, can I get a discount? Oh, let me see if I can make some money. Nuh-uh, because I, I ain't looking to work with you. Because you, all you're doing is looking to make some money. You ain't looking to build something for your last name. You ain't looking to build something. So when you're 55 years old, at least you got 10000 in, in residual income. You know, 5000 in residual income. 2000 in residual income If you're just looking for a quick buck Stay at your job <sighs> Wealth is long term Legacy is long term Your job is right now That keeps you broke So I'm only looking for work with people that Saying you know what I'm ready to build You know I don't, I don't want to feel anxiety I don't want to feel You know I don't know where my next dollar coming from. I don't know. I don't want to feel like my job is not enough. I don't want to feel like that. Right? But if you know. Let's see, guys. If you never do nothing different, you will get nothing different. And all you're going to do is hope. All you're going to do is wish. All you're going to do is pray. And then when 35 comes, I mean, when 75 comes and 55 come, you're going to be like, damn, why I start that business? Damn, why I didn't do nothing to make extra money? Damn, why I didn't do this? Damn, why I didn't get involved with that society? Why I didn't get involved with this? Why I didn't do that? Now you got all these fucking regrets at 55. You got all these regrets at 75. When you can start now. Hey, everybody ain't gonna listen to me. Only those who are willing to listen, guys, is the ones I can help. And those are the only ones that I want to help. Those who willing to listen to me. Okay? So at the end of the day, guys, start a business, work time, <laughs> two hours a day, <laughs> okay? The people that get serious and join me and do Amazon with me are the ones that basically make money. Those that half-ass get serious, <laughs> they don't make money. Simple as that, my friend. So I've got some work to do. I'm home, and i got me some work to do at home. And uh, follow up with a couple of my clients, make some money today, and continue living my life, guys. CreateYourOwnEconomy.com, guys. See you soon.